Welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. Um, for this second video on the major bones, I want to go over the appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton is all of the bones of the arms and the legs. It is also the bones that connect the arms and the legs to the torso. So to begin with, I'll start with the pectoral girdle, which is basically the bones that connect the arm to the torso. There's two bones in the pectoral girdle. There's the clavicle, in this case the left clavicle, and then there's the scapula. And I'll turn it around to get a good view of the scapula. This is the left scapula and the right scapula, and again, they're part of the um, pectoral girdle. So we got scapula. And we've got clavicle. And again, that's pectoral girdle. Let's move down. This bone that makes up the upper part of your arm is called the humerus. It runs from your shoulder down to your elbow. Below the elbow or in your forearm there are two bones. The one that is closest to your thumb that's on the thumb side and I've put this arm in the anatomical position so that the thumb is outward so this is the thumb. This is the radius and the medial bone in the forearm is called the ulna. So we got radius and ulna. These two are cool because they articulate with each other like this. The radius actually flips over the ulna when you pronate your hand. And when you supinate your hand, the radius comes off over the ulna, I guess. So pronate, supinate. Um, below the forearm, into the wrist, these are called carpal bones. And in a different video where we do the bones of the hand, I'll go over each one of the carpal bones. But for major bones, just know that these are called carpals. Below the carpals, we have the metacarpals. Each metacarpal connects to a digit. And they're actually, in, in anatomy, they're numbered. This is number one, digit number one, digit number two, digit number three. So one through five, starting at the thumb, is basically the way they're numbered. So this, this would be the first metacarpal, second metacarpal, third metacarpal, fourth metacarpal, and fifth metacarpal of the left hand. Below the metacarpals, we have the phalanges, the phalangeal bones. Individually, they're called phalanx. And there's three of them for each finger and two of them for the thumb. For the thumb, this would be the distal phalanx of the first digit. This would be the... Um, proximal phalanx of the first digit. I'll do the ring finger. This would be the distal phalanx of the second digit. Not the ring finger, this is the um, index finger, sorry. Um, anyway, distal phalanx of the second digit. Medial or middle phalanx of the second digit. And proximal phalanx of the second digit. So that's how you name the finger bones. Let's move on down to the legs. <clears throat> and for that, I need a different camera angle. OK, so now we're down here by the legs um, for the lower part of the appendicular skeleton. This is the pelvic girdle. These are the bones that connect the legs to the torso. This is the left os cocci, or left coxal bone, or left hip bone. And this is the right hip bone, or right os cocci, or right coxal bone. Below the pelvic girdle, we have the femur, the thigh bone. So this would be the left femur, and this is the right femur. And then below the femurs, we have the patella. The patella is between the femur and the tibia. So this would be left patella, and that would be right patella. Then in the lower part of the leg, we have this large bone that's more medial. It's the tibia. Tibia. And then outside, or lateral, we have the fibula, tibia. This would be left tibia, and this would be left fibula. And then we have right tibia and right fibula. In the foot, we have tarsals, just like we had carpals up in the wrist. And then below the tarsals, we have metatarsals, just like we had metacarpals in the hand. So these are metatarsals. And in, as far as numbering the digits, it's very similar to the hand. 
Um, this would be digit number one, digit number two, starting with the big toe, kind of like we started with the thumb on the hand. So this would be digit number one of the left foot, digit number two of the left foot, digit number three of the left foot, and so on. For the digit bones, again, kind of like the thumbs and the finger, they're called phalangeal bones. Um, and individually, they're called phalanx. So this is the proximal phalanx of the first digit on the left foot. This is the distal phalanx of the first digit on the left foot. Big toe only has two bones. Let's go to the um, second digit on the left foot. This is the proximal phalanx of the second digit on the left foot. This is the medial phalanx of the second digit on the left foot. And this is the distal phalanx of the second digit on the left foot again. And I think that pretty much covers all of the appendicular skeleton. Again, if you have any questions, call me, email me, let me know, and um, keep studying. You can do this.